Hey Nintendo fans and collectors, Lithium here from my channel Nintendo Collecting, bringing you another entry into the 3DS's awesome series. This one is for Super Smash Brothers for the Nintendo 3DS. And if you haven't noticed, I am absolutely excited to play this game. I have been playing the demo, it is really good, and I only expect the game to be even better. This game was released today on October the 3rd in North America and in the UK, but Australians, you'll have to wait till tomorrow, October the 4th. And actually, people in Japan got this game on September the 13th of last month, and it already sold a million copies in Japan. I do expect Super Smash Bros. for the 3DS to sell over 10 million copies when all is said and done, at least. And that might actually be a low number. I must mention the Wii U version will be coming out before Christmas. Nintendo still claims it'll come out before Christmas. But this is actually, this one in particular, the fourth entry into the series. Fans of the series will know the original one came out on the Nintendo 64, its sequel was Super Smash Bros. Melee on the Ni Nintendo GameCube, and then we had Super Smash Bros. Brawl on the Nintendo Wii. This is the first time we have a handheld Super Smash Bros. game, which is absolutely incredible because anywhere, anytime, you can connect to the internet and battle against one of your friends, or even play someone online randomly, there's always someone to fight against, which is absolutely awesome. Current scores of this game on Metacritic are at about 86%, which is really positive. There are some slight flaws with the game, which I'll get into at the end of the video or later in the video, but let's stick to the positives first. Let's just look at the box art for this game before I open it up. There are so many iconic Nintendo characters in this game. And if you have no idea what Super Smash Bros. is about, essentially it's a fighting game between all of Nintendo's biggest characters and most recognizable characters, as well as some third party characters. Your goal while playing the game is to damage your opponent by hitting them, to increase their percentage of hit, and then eventually you can actually launch them off the screen and hit them out of the screen to actually get a kill. And that's basically the goal, is to try and kill your opponent or throw them off the screen, throw them off the battle arena. The front cover art for this game looks awesome. I must just note that it looks like this is in red. I bet you the Wii U version will likely be in blue. And some of the characters on here, right away you can obviously see Link from The Legend of Zelda, Mario, Pikachu from Pokemon, which are Nintendo's three biggest franchises, Pit from Kid Icarus, Samus Aran from Metroid, Rosalina from Mario, Kirby, Yoshi, Little Mac from Punch-Out, it looks like a character from Fire Emblem, that's probably Marth, Villager from Animal Crossing, and that's only a few of them. Looking at the side of the box, or the case, it says Super Smash Bros for Nintendo 3DS, and the symbol of the game is obviously that Smash Ball, which does make a return in this game as well. Now the back of the game case tells us a lot more information. First of all, this game is developed by Namco, Bandai, I believe, and Sora. But really, Sakurai was at the helm of this game. He's been at the helm of all the Super Smash Bros. Game, games, and Sakurai was posting updates about this frequently on Miiverse and even online, which was really cool to see. You also see a lot of the different characters that are going to be in this game. There are over 30 that I can spot on the back of this box. So it's not really spoilers to tell you that certain characters are in the game, but I won't mention way too many of them. However, three of the new characters, guest fighters, join the battle, it says right here. So this isn't spoilers, it's actually on the game case. Mega Man is in this game, Pac-Man is in this game, and Sonic makes a return because he was in Super Smash Bros. Brawl. But that's very exciting. You have one game with Mario, Mega Man, Pac-Man, Sonic, and so many other characters. If you were wondering how many total characters there are in the game, there are 51 different characters, you could say. 48 of them kind of unique, and then three others are your Mii Fighters, because there's three different classes of Mii Fighters. Let's just take another look at what the back of this says. Fight anywhere, anytime, an all-star lineup of Nintendo characters, as we just went through. There is the all-new all Smash Run mode, which means you actually go for about four or five minutes boosting up your stats, trying to defeat all these enemies, and then you actually battle against other people. I think it's uh, four people that you can fight against. There's other things that you can do as well. You can create your own fighter unique to you with some customizable statistics. You can even change their costumes a little bit, and you will be able to transfer that information from your 3DS version over to your Wii U, which is absolutely awesome. I'm really looking forward to that. Okay, so let's open this up. I have not opened it before, and I usually take my time with this, but I am very excited, so let's just try and get right into it. Now, this game 
has a lot of positives going for it. The character roster is obviously absolutely insanely awesome, and you can play this a handheld anytime, anywhere, which is incredible. The only flaws I have heard about the game is that because the screen is so small and you might have four characters fighting on it at once, sometimes the camera has to zoom out and the characters look really, really small, but Nintendo gave us something to do with that. They made the character outlines have a thicker line or a thinner line. You can choose how much of the thickness you want to actually see. So let's open this up. Absolutely awesome. Just like the cover, that's what the game kind of looks like right there. Same with the front of the instruction manual. And let's see what we get with this. So because I'm in Canada, it looks like I get a French one and an English one. For all of you wondering about the Club Nintendo codes, Nintendo did away with their own little pamphlet and now they're printed on the back of the case art. So they are back there for Club Nintendo, just so that you are aware. And let's take a look at the manual about what else it actually holds, if it's anything really useful. But it looks like this is actually going to fold outwards, but this is going to be huge, which is awesome. So we can actually look at what characters are in here, it looks like. So let's open this all the way up. So there's some really cool fan art, or art basically. I think this is actually from the Super Smash Bros. website, which looks really cool with some of the characters on there. Uh, yeah, there's a heck of a lot going on on here. Holy cow. Okay, so they're telling us pretty much, I'm not sure if this is all of the characters, but first things first, let's look at what they give us in terms of controls. So it does tell us you the commands and everything like that, but it looks like I actually opened the French version. So let's put that one down. Let's make sure we're opening the English version. I do speak a little bit of French because I do live in Canada, but I'm not going to read this in French for you right now. There we go, English version, okay. So first, let's look at the controls. As you know, it's the exact same in most games for Super Smash Brothers. You can walk, dash, jump, drop through some platforms, slide. You can tap quickly to go different sides. You grab with L, you shield with R, you jump with X or Y. Attacks usually are A. You can use a strong attack by kind of just using left or right, and you can do a smash attack just by launching opponents if you just quickly tap a direction and hit A. And then B is res reserved for special moves. Move my camera a bit. Let's just move that right back. There we go. Okay, characters in this. I don't hope there's not ruining anything, but let's see. 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4. Okay, so that's 24, 25, 26, 27. 27 characters that they talk about so far, plus another... 12. Wow, that's so many. So, right here, right away, you know you're going to have these characters. Might as well go through them. Mario, Donkey Kong, Link, Samus, Yoshi, Kirby, Fox, Pikachu, Luigi, Captain Falcon, Peach, Bowser, Zelda, Sheik, Marth, Meta Knight, Pit, Zero Suit Samus is her own character this time, Ike, Charizard, his own character, last time it was with the Pokemon trainer, Diddy Kong, King Dedede, Olimar, I think I went through these already, but if I didn't, Zelda, Sheik, Marth, I already said those, that's good, fine, uh, Lucario, Toon Link, Villager, Wii Fit Trainer, and then on the back they tell you even more, now here it looks like they saved this for probably almost all the new characters, Rosalina, Little Mac, Gren Ninja, Palatina from, Palatina if you don't know is from the Pit, Kid Icarus series, Robin, Again, from Fire Emblem, I believe Fire Emblem. I pray it's Fire Emblem. Shulk, oh my god, that's an amazing addition from Xenoblade Chronicles. Sonic is back. Mega Man, huge from Capcom. Pac-Man, awesome to have that from Namco. And then three different Mii characters. You have the Mii Brawler, the Mii Sword Fighter, and the Mii Gunner. And I don't think that's all of them. I can guarantee you that's not all of the characters. Those are probably just the ones you initially start with. What an insanely awesome character roster. This is really cool just to put this up. I could probably put this up with the back French version in my room somewhere if I really wanted to, because it does look so awesome. Now this game, as I said, it did get a score of 86. The only slight problems they had were some of the times the characters are hard to see because it gets so small and the smash run isn't everything it could be, but you have so many different stages that are unique to the 3DS version. The Wii U will have separate stages. I'm very excited to play this game. I will forever remember October 3rd as the date that Super Smash Bros. for the 3DS came out. It's also my friend's birthday today. Shout out to you. Happy birthday. This is a great day to have a birthday because this game actually came out on your birthday, which is amazing. Please comment below what character or characters are you most excited about getting or playing in this game. The suggested retail price of this in Canada is $44.99. 
In the States, I think it's $39.99, and elsewhere in the world, the prices may vary. Thank you so much for watching this entry into the 3DS's Awesome series. Feel free to fill that like bucket, subscribe to my channel, and remember, as always, keep smiling while gaming, and go collect them all.